guys, I'm so excited about today's video because today I am kicking off a new series on my channel called Fit Friday and these videos are going to be coming to you twice a month. I want them to feel very casual because I am seriously no health, um, fitness, anything like that expert. I actually just started trying to live like a healthier lifestyle um, a few months ago back in the springtime of this year. The series is really just about me and you guys hopefully kind of like doing this together and motivating each other to live a little bit of a healthier lifestyle and just it's all pretty much about feeling good. I really just want it to be the type of thing where I can hopefully help out some of you guys and tell you some tips on things that I've, that I've been doing and things that have been working for me, things that have not been working for me and I'm so excited to start making these types of videos. You guys don't even know I've been wanting to do this for so long. If you guys follow my like lifestyle and fitness Instagram which is Lindsay's lifestyle you have known about this for a while this series is like a long time coming so if living a healthier lifestyle and looking and feeling your best are some of you guys goals right now because um, those are goals that are very important to me right now and things that I've been working on and also struggling with so I want to talk about the struggles as well as the tips and how we can just like do this together because I want the point of me kind of like changing around my channel and making my new video series is, is I really want my videos to have more substance I want to be able to help you guys I want my you guys to get something more out of my videos than just entertainment I want you to really take away things from it kicking off Fit Friday, I thought the video that made the most sense to make was really just how to get the correct mindset to get started with a lifestyle that is different than what you're doing right now, if that's what you want. Finding that motivation within yourself to change your habits and finding the motivation to start living a better lifestyle so you can look better, feel better, and just be your best because I'm telling you guys once you kind of like make this change it does not have to be like this overnight you're just cutting the things out of your diet you're exercising like a crazy person I feel like a lot of people go into a healthier lifestyle very drastically whether it's going on a certain diet or just cutting out things from their life or things like that and really I think that is not necessarily the best way to do it. Hopefully you want to attain this lifestyle and you want to live healthy forever and not just for a short period of time. So you really have to start gradually and it makes it just like easier. It honestly gets addicting and fun to start like living a healthy lifestyle you get to you know like start wearing cute workout clothes and posting pictures of a cute acai bowl on instagram and it's honestly like once you kind of have people around you also that are like motivating you as well it really is not a treacherous journey so don't think of this as like I need to change. You can't be mad at yourself for where you are right now because everything in your life, like leading up to where you are right now, like all your choices have gotten you there. And I think you need to like start off with accepting that before you can change. Um, the biggest thing is you have to want to change. For me personally, finding the motivation to actually like make the change in my lifestyle happened back in March when I decided that I was going to start working with a personal trainer and I didn't work out at all before that point. I had never, I had lived in my apartment for almost a year. Um, we have a gym included with our rent at my apartment complex. I had not been to the gym one time. I didn't work out. I ate pretty much whatever I wanted and pretty much for two years, before I made this um, this decision to start living a healthier lifestyle. For two years, I had been kind of wanting to do that, and for two years, I had been not happy with my body and not happy with the things I was putting in my body and the decisions that I was making. I never really was extremely unhappy with my body. I always have been confident and I've always, you know, liked myself as a person and liked, you know, what I look like physically, but I wasn't proud of it. I didn't want to show it off. I didn't feel confident in a bathing suit or when I looked in the mirror a lot of the times. And I still am not at that point. I'm not at the point where I look in the mirror and I'm like, this is exactly where I wanted to be. I am totally 
on my journey and my journey has been going like this I have had high points where I'm so proud of myself and I am working out every single day and I've had a bunch of low points where it's been very hard for me with traveling and just kind of like a lot of things going on in my life that it's hard to work out and it's hard to do this lifestyle so getting off track here back to motivation Pretty much it took me two years of all of that, just not feeling you know, good enough and confident enough. And it took me that long to make the change and be like, okay, I'm actually going to start doing this for the first real time ever. This is probably not gonna be something that you're gonna just wake up tomorrow and you're gonna you know, like start living your life a different way. Um, it really, really might take a lot of time. I wanted to make the change because I knew I would be happier, I knew I would be healthier, and I knew that it was something in the back of my mind that I had been putting off and really just being like, oh, you know, I'll start eating better next month, I'll start going to the gym tomorrow. I really wanted to make the change, but I just didn't do it. And once you make that change and once you get in the habit of doing something, it is so easy, so much easier to just like, do it all you have to do is take that first step join a gym or start going to your gym or find a workout that you like please find a workout that you don't dread that is so important for me i loved going to like zumba classes yoga but really um for me working with a personal trainer started to make me that is also what gave me my motivation <laughs> because i personally can't really go to the gym myself unless I have a set time that I'm meeting up with my trainer at the gym and I know she's gonna kick my butt and I know I'm not gonna cancel that because she's coming to meet me at the gym. So whether it's you have a friend that you're meeting up with or you have a set time that you go every day or every third day or every other day, whatever you know you want to do. You have to actually just force yourself. And the word force sounds kind of uh, intense and harsh, but it's really true. You, If you want to make this change, you actually have to physically force yourself to do the things that are going to change your body and change your mind and are really, really, these are things that are going to make you feel better and feel happier and feel you'll have more energy once you start changing your you know, eating habits and adding exercise into your life if you don't exercise. I'm not gonna get into like eating and working out in this video because this is just the introduction. Don't worry, I will get into all of that stuff. I have so many videos planned and I also want you guys' feedback on what you wanna see for these future Fit Friday videos. And also I really wanna know what you wanna see for next week's because what do you think is a good, like after this motivation video, what do you think is good next thing? I'm thinking maybe like something that's like simple tips to incorporate into your lifestyle. Hopefully you clicked on this video and you're watching this video because you wanted to figure out how to motivate yourself personally to live a healthier lifestyle because that's what I'm going to call this video. So the biggest thing I can say is you have to be your own motivation. What I mean by you have to be your own motivation is that nobody else is going to make this change for you and nobody else is gonna change your habits. You're in charge. You are in charge of your life. You're in charge of how you feel, how you look. For me, finding that motivation was the hardest part of this. Like, that has been the harder the hardest part than like hard workouts or you know like trying to eat well the hardest thing in the whole process has actually been finding that motivation and actually doing something about it to get started so it all really just starts with a single step i know you've heard like that expression but it's incredibly incredibly true I watched this TED Talks and it's on YouTube and I watched it a few months ago and it's called How to Stop Screwing Yourself Over and it actually talks a lot about motivation and literally just kind of forcing yourself as I said. The physical force that is required to get you to do the things that you want to do and get the things done that you want to get done so that you can like live your life and it kind of coincides with what I'm talking about. I think it's a really, really good TED Talk, so I'm gonna link it in the description box of this video if you guys wanna go and check it out. Lady is funny, she's a little bit like, she kind of seems a little bit harsh at some points, but it's kind of like, 
you watch the whole thing and you're like, wow, I felt something from that. I needed to hear that. When I, when I watched it, I was like, that is a TED Talks that I think I really needed to hear and I think it, I was meant to find that. So this is something that my trainer told me like our first session is take photos of yourself from you know your starting point so that can be something that's really motivating just because you might not remember once you start like once you're doing this for three weeks or three months or something like that you might not remember like where you started at i personally do not own a scale so i didn't have like a starting weight um, or anything like that and i know i've like fluctuated in these few months because i Kind of fall off and then i come back on to my like journey or whatever like i am so, i want you guys to know that i'm so like imperfect with this but what i was saying i was talking about photos <laughs> take photos that are your starting point somewhere just have them on your phone you know what i mean just have them to look back on and reflect on and see how far you're coming or how you have changed um take photos you know like monthly i would say that is something that can be really really good as well i think if you wouldn't get obsessive over that type of thing as i said i don't own a scale because i feel like i get obsessive about that kind of stuff i feel like i would weigh myself every single time i saw the scale and i would be like harsh on myself like my parents had a scale back home and i would always weigh myself on it and i just i don't have a good relationship with scales like i like not knowing how much i weigh i suppose maybe that's a weird thing but i don't know how much i weigh i always just made it and I like it better just being like okay I'm happy with how I look or I'm not so happy with how I look right now like maybe I should start working a little bit harder so that's the way I like to kind of judge my progress I am so like not perfect I am I eat junk food still like I have I haven't worked out in like almost three weeks and i'm making this video like i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys i have been insanely busy and i haven't made the time to work out i have been trying my best in the last few days after like a road trip and just like lots of traveling where i know i wasn't eating my best i have been trying to like eat better and i already just like feel better so it's really just things that it can be hard to incorporate into your life and you don't have to feel like this is something that is like punishing yourself and you're you have to look at this with you have to be excited and you have to want to make this change like i said in the beginning of the video you're not going to make this change unless you want to so be excited because it seriously feels so good once you start making progress and working out it makes you feel good like after you do a workout especially if it's like something that you really enjoyed like dancing is my favorite form of working out honestly like that is why i love going to festivals and concerts because i can just dance my butt off it doesn't feel like i'm working out i mean i'm not i guess essentially really working out but i'm like working up a sweat i'm getting exercise and i don't feel like i'm doing something that's like this grueling pain that personal training sometimes feels like although i love my personal training and i love my trainer um i'll talk about her in another video if you guys want me to i can probably even do a video with her in the future I just feel like I've been rambling on at this point, so I really hope I got my point across in this video. Alright, let me know what you want to see for the next Fit Friday because I am very excited to make it and I want it to be something that you guys are really excited about. Give me feedback on how I did this video. Let me know things, more things that I should do, less things that I should do. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you're excited about this series because I really hope that you guys are. I hope that's why you tuned in. I want you guys to know that I love you so much and that if you feel like you don't have somebody there for you that i am always there for you i hope you guys know that i read all of your comments i read all of my twitter at replies and i absolutely adore talking to you guys and i appreciate you so much by the time you see this video which is going to be probably on friday i am going to be 21 the next day september 19th so i know i just thought of that but that's insane thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being your incredible selves i love you i hope you benefited from this video i genuinely do and i will see you in my next video next week bye